Um, my name is Luann Algoso. I think when I started school, maybe a kindergarten or first grade. And I remember um, my mom telling me, like, I think the first few days before school started to not speak the Gallic anymore. I remember her saying, like, it's, we don't want you to be bullied. You don't, we don't want you to be an outcast. And so I knew from an early age that, like, being, at least through language at first, that, that there was something wrong with being perceived differently. Overall, I would identify as an activist, but I think I like the word or the label um, creative activator or cultural worker because I infuse arts into that strategy. How art is used, it's in shifting culture, shifting, uh, changing the hearts and minds of people. Um, I was inspired to, to write a, a screenplay around working in nonprofits, but specifically here in Portland in uh, a racial justice organization that's in a predominantly white city. <laughs> um, humanizing these issues that like advocates and activists work on. Being a person of color in Portland, I experienced a lot of microaggressions and just, and then also pretty blatant racist stuff. Um, that's why it was so nourishing in a lot of ways to work at Apano. Day in and day out, you're amongst Asian and Pacific Islanders, and then with coalition partners that were majority racial justice organizations or who advocated for racial justice. So you didn't have to like explain too much. <laughs> like everyone just kind of across the board knew that it was it's a struggle, an ongoing struggle. I mean, despite all of that and how depressing it can be, it really uh, fuels me to push my white ally friends um, and, and, and also people of color as well, too, to do more and to do better.